welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's been quite a long time. Like I said, videos will come and go, they'll just happen when they happen. I'm going through a bit of a mental stage at the moment. I'm back off work, I've injured my hamstring at work and torn a, an eight centimetre tear in my hamstring. I'm doing okay with it, but obviously it's going to take a little bit of time to recover and heal from it. I've tweaked it a few times here and there, I've slipped and hurt it again, so having a bit of an issue with that, but that'll come good eventually. And just, just before I start, before I forget, I've just popped some of this on off camera. Parasso Green pre-shave. So I'm just gonna, oh, I'll just leave it out. Why not? Right, oh God, I don't even know where to start to be honest. It's been a while since I've done a video. Just give me a second. Just turn that down a little touch. Right, as you can see, I am looking very rough. In fact, I look terrible to be fair. I look terrible most days anyway until I put a cap on. This morning was getting off to a good start when the Maple Leafs pulled it back to four each and then we lost in overtime so that was, that was a bit disappointing but this year could possibly be a Maple Leaf year. Who knows? They're showing some pretty good resilience at the moment from well, saying that going going ahead quite comfortably in games, then falling behind, and then coming back to win, and also coming back from deficits, which is good. But you still got to win those games. Right, the soap of choice for today is snake bite. Who makes snake bite? Fine accoutrements. Now I've got that squished into just a normal tub. This is an old puck. This is like, this puck's ancient. It's about six years old, I think, five or six years old. I say ancient, but you know what I mean. The brush is my G Point Ceramic 28mm Rhodium Knot, 3 band Manchurian. Beautiful, beautiful brush. I'm just going to just dip the tips just lightly in the water. Fold up the brush. I'm going to be using the Feather Artist Club stainless steel disposable straight razor blade duda. I don't think they're actually technically chevettes. I think it's is it Dovo that makes chevettes. People just say chevettes. I think I think that's just become the generic term of a disposable blade razor. Straight style razor. Yeah the, like I say I'm, I'm struggling a little bit at the moment. I am off to the doctors today with my daughter. Yeah, probably over the last eight to ten months has been, albeit eating healthy food, doing healthy things, just not doing them in the right way. It initially started last year with her gym routine being far too far too much weights. Considering she's a dancer, she's a full time dancer, so she was starting to bulk up. She was starting to get injuries related to almost like too much muscle mass and not enough flexibility and what's happened now is she's done a u-turn on that she was eating relatively well back then she's done a u-turn on a gym work and she's doing much better with what she actually does she does a lot of calisthenics now yoga pilates along with some sort of high interval intensity treatment training and things like that so but this last sort of eight or ten months I've noticed a trend in her eating that's been quite quite a drastic change to what she used to do and sometimes, I'm not joking, she'll, she'll take lunch with, with her to to dance and it'll be in a tub about that big and that'll be a lunch from 7 in the morning, 6.30, 7 in the morning all the way through until about 4 in the afternoon. That's all she'll eat about that much food. So she's finally sent me through her weekly diet of what she's been making and eating. It's very hard when you've got a 16 year old daughter, a son doesn't really matter I suppose, a 16 year old kid. There comes a point where it's hard to sort of keep tabs on what they're doing, you don't have as much, I wouldn't say it's so much control over the life, you just don't have as much influence on the life and they tend to spend more time, with, she spends a lot of time with the boyfriend. But she sent me through her weekly 
intake of calories. She counts calories, that's one of the major issues. And look, me and my wife, we are a big problem in that. Probably not so much me, but my wife has always been a calorie counter. She's always wanted to lose weight. She's always been the next best thing, the next best diet. You know, Weight Watchers was a big thing for her when she was younger. When I first met her, she was into Weight Watchers 15, 16 years ago. Since then, we've progressed through paleo, vegan, six and six and fourteen, or six and sixteen, whatever, eight and eight and fourteen diet. You know, fucking liquid diets, protein diets, just we, and it's not so much for me. I I put weight on because I eat too much. I know that. So whenever I reduce my intake, I, I lose a bit of weight. I start feeling better again. I increase my activity. I, I've always been sporty, so that's always helped. I'm just going to take my time with this because there's a lot to be said, and I know you don't really want to listen to it. But so yeah, she sent me through her weekly diet which I worked out at, from Monday to Friday which is when she sticks to her diet rigidly. She consumes three meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Sounds great doesn't it? But she only consumes just under 800 calories a day. Now to put that into perspective for someone out there, people out there that have absolutely no idea about caloric intake or how many calories is, is an average. An average person that wakes up in the morning and does nothing all day, nothing, like practically anything, will burn 1800 calories. So my daughter consumes 800 calories. So there's a thousand calorie deficit where she's, her body needs a thousand calories to burn, so what does it do? It starts burning fat, it starts burning muscle, starts wasting away your body, starts impacting things. So, that's the first part, so she's already at a massive deficit, she's eating, she's fueling her body with way less than what it actually requires to just even function normally. And I think, I think they say pretty much a healthy calorie deficit, which is eating less calories than you burn in order to lose fat or burn fat or lose weight, <coughs> trim down. is between 200 to 500 calories per day which is probably sustainable for a period of time however she's been doing this now for 8 to 10 months and yes I've noticed but I haven't noticed the extent of it until today so having worked out that she has 800 calories a day I then f followed on with her routine at the gym and her dancing which for those of you that have followed me for a while, you know that she's a full-time dancer. She dances five days a week, between four and six hours a day. So I took the four hours a day, and I took all the gym work, and, and worked out roughly that she burns 4,975 calories a day, roughly. She does about an hour and a half to two hours in the gym every day as well, along with her four hours of dancing, which is the bare minimum that I put on there. It would actually be more if she's doing six or seven hours that day. But I was trying to find some sort of middle ground. So she's burning almost 5,000 calories and consuming 800. So she's consuming less than one fifth, really, of what her body is burning and what she requires. And she thinks this is okay. She thinks that her diet's been fine. I'm eating healthy food. She is, she's eating very healthy food. She's spinach, kale, chicken, everything she eats is generally whole foods, freshly cooked, freshly made. A lot of it's organic, free range, all that sort of stuff. But 800 calories in a day, five days in a row. So she's burning 25,000 calories between Monday and Friday and consuming 4,000. So she's 21,000 calories and deficit by the time the end of Friday comes. Saturday, Sunday she has cheat days, but you can't make that deficit up. You, to, to physically eat 20,000 calories over two days, is that's mental. <laughs> so, yeah, we're in a pretty tough spot at the moment with her, and she's really, sadly, at, the, at this stage, she's on that road to 
almost, I would say, anorexia in terms of the way she's eating. It's not a nice thing to talk about, but it's obviously it's. We've been through the wars with our daughter, with mental health and and diet and bullying and all sorts of things. Right, the artist club from Finna, same blade. This blade's ancient now. <laughs> it's been in here for absolutely donkeys. Look at that. It just melts it off. It's a little bit tuggy. It's not because the blade's blunt. It's because I haven't really prepped. I put this, the pre-shave on. I've wet my face a little bit, lather for a little bit. If I'd had a shower before, this would just melt through the hair. As you can see, albeit I'm not getting every last bit of hair off there. But I'm getting most of it off. I will be finishing with the calf. I'm just using this razor just to take the heavy growth off and the second and third pass I'm just going to carve it up using a feather blade in that as well, the same one. I mean that. So satisfying, it really is. I've since been in touch with Surjan as well. He's doing well. He just took a bit of a break, really. I, th I think things went on top of him. Covid over there where he is was really bad. It still is quite bad, I think, over there. I know it's not great in WA anymore where I live. It's, it's certainly nowhere near as bad as most of the world, but we are actually in, in some sort of ways quite a way behind the rest of the world at the moment. So we are just finally reaching 5,000 cases a day at the moment. But it is what it is. There's not much more you can do about it really. Once it gets into the community, it spreads. Well, we're very lucky we've had very few deaths in Western Australia. We've had very few in hospital. The biggest majority of Western Australia, 95 plus percent, are double vaccinated. Albeit pretty much forced. Feel the menthol! So yeah, the other thing with my daughter as well is that she's... I mean, social media is a massive thing on it really. You know, when I was a kid, there wasn't... You, know, you, you saw your, fo your footballers and your ice hockey players and sports personalities on TV when I was younger. But really, that was it. You didn't really have this this culture of calorie counting for kids and body image and all that. You know, it was there, but it was certainly not as bad 
You know, it, was, it wasn't something that was prevalent in society when I was a kid, sort of 15, 16, that everyone was worried about body image and all that. It, just, it was there, but it wasn't really a major issue at the time. It's obviously quite bad now. And she gets, uh, she goes on the, what do they call it? You get a body scan. A body scan, a fat percentage is like 9.9 .9 now, which is really low. I mean, this, that's lower than elite athlete level for most women. And as a result, it's affecting her hormones, it's affecting her periods. She, she hasn't had a period for four months. She's only 16 and she's been having them regular since she was 13. So she's damaging her body as well. It's just, honestly, I can't, I can't get my head around it. It's, it's heartbreaking to the point I, I'm, I've nearly had 15 breakdowns in the last month or so trying to get through this shit. But we'll get there, hopefully. The car of Christopher Bradley Razor, stainless steel. Should be the A-plate, it is the A-plate, and I've got the feather, same feather blade in here, I'm just going to... Cut that side bit a little bit better. Such a nice razor, it really is. Right, let's just lather up again. I'm not putting any water on at the moment. God, that is menthol. I think snake bite has pretty much nailed menthol content. It's never uncomfortable to use. I always find it's just beautiful and cool, but never gets to the burning stage where it's sort of affecting your skin and affecting the shave. So yeah, that's my life in a nutshell at the moment. Stuck at home, unable to play hockey, unable to play any sports. Couple of little weepers. I'm just going to finish off with the Gillette skin guard just under the lip, under the lips, under the nose.
That for me is gold. And I'm, I mean, most most DE razors I can get it, but there's no thought process with that. With the uh, skin guard, it just does it without having to think about it. Let's have a little look. I'm just going to wet my hand here. I don't really. The slickness is beautiful, but it's not, as people would say, elite slickness. There we go, I'm happy with that. That is good enough. Just empty the sink out of water. I'll tell you what, Jesus, the hot water is unreal. water it's like boiling water out of a kettle here at the moment it's unbelievable right so that was I'm going to finish off actually with some Thea's peach witch hazel I've got a few weepers there's a bit of blood there but who cares that'll be gone soon now the thing I like about the peach Thea is oh, hang on a minute for whatever reason well not whatever reason I know why that should focus in a little bit more get a bit of light on not that you need to see me any clearer. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, Thea's peach. I like this because it's actually an astringent. It does actually say on the front there astringent. So I'm assuming there is a bit of alcohol in it. Does it say alcohol free? No, I think there's alcohol in this one. Well, maybe not. So between this one and the medicated, medicated is my favourite. I love the scent on the medicated one as well. Just, I like the burn it gives. Snake bite from Fine Accoutrements. Rhodium knot, 28mm G point ceramic handle. The car of Christopher Bradley razor, Feather Artist Club, stainless steel. And that was a lovely shave, other than all the blood. Ah oh, well, you know how it goes. When you've got a lot on your mind, sometimes having a shave can be a difficult thing, especially when you're offloading your, your life story onto a camera. Anyway, you got any comments or questions, pop them down below. I've got a few comments and stuff that are floating about on there that I haven't really looked at yet. Things have been a little bit topsy-turvy, to say the least. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.